A spiral wrap is a specialty technique performed on long hair. The rods hang vertically and you use the diameter of the rod to determine the subsection. Usually you can just use a square subsection, but some people have used triangle subsections and interlocked all their triangles, but I find the square one works nicely. When you're wrapping, you use the vertical bookend wrap. So fold your end paper lengthwise and place that right down to the end. Making sure, and sometimes the ends are stringy and you need to go all the way to the end. You don't want to have any hair protruding past. Make sure your elastic is in the bottom so it's in the palm of your hand. Start rolling the rod around at the bottom and spiral your way up towards the top. So you can roll around a couple of times before you start to spiral. Now as you're rolling around, you may find that there are some long hairs and if that's the case you need to add a single flat wrap if there are hairs that are protruding. So add your single flat wrap and if you find there are more hairs add another single flat wrap because you want to have control of all the hair ends. Bring that around and make sure that this does not hang up into your next section. Let that perm rod hang down just at the top of its subsection and secure your rod. There's different directions. You can wrap vertically and to the left. You could wrap to the right. You could wrap part in the six point and you can wrap towards the middle or you can wrap away from the six point. It all depends how the client wants to wear their hair. If a client likes to wear their hair on the shoulders, um, coming, if they prefer to wear their hair coming forward on their shoulders, you might want to wrap away from the six point, bringing everything forward. If they like their hair off their shoulders, then you may want to wrap everything towards the six point, rolling away from the face, reversing away from the face. So you have to have that um, discussion with your client during the client consultation and determine which way you're going to wrap your rods for a spiral wrap. And when you're wrapping your rods, you can also alternate them. So you can wrap one in one direction, one rolling in one direction, and one rolling in the other. And that will just give a more natural look, and the hair will just hang straight down, but be curly and springy, because spiral curls create a springy, bouncy curl on long hair. The other thing that you can do is do one row all in one direction and the second row the opposite way and then alternate your rows. If you are ever working on a spiral perm, because they can be quite time consuming, so if you're ever working on a spiral perm and you are having somebody in the salon work with you in the school, in the school salon, um, it's a good idea to switch sides. So we might, I might be wrapping this side and the other hairstylist is wrapping this side. So I'm on the left and they're on the right. 
and when we finish that first row then we can switch or maybe every second row switch and I'll be on the right and they'll be on the left. The reason for that is no matter how much we try to um, wrap in the same way, we are all individuals and sometimes our wrapping may differ slightly. We all have that creativeness as hairstylists and if it slightly is different, at least we're switching it up so that pattern um, stays the same. When you take your section, remember your section needs to be the diameter of the rod you're using. You can also alternate rod sizes. So I could wrap this whole head in two different um, diameters. I could vary them and maybe I will do that. I will wrap um, in the orange and the peach and it just gets a different curl and sometimes um, that's nice to have that different curl. So remember you take your subsection, the diameter of the rod that you're being that's being used and divide that up into squares or triangles if you prefer. I prefer squares myself. And we just keep decide on our wrapping pattern. Is it all rolling the same way? Or are we alternating the direction? But they do hang vertical. Remember to keep them hanging below their section. And I'm going to keep wrapping this entire perm. We just keep taking our sections and wrapping spiral until we reach the top. If there's some bangs in the top for that client, you might have to wrap a little different. You can always section out the parietal ridge and just put some different rods, like sometimes even a larger rod in here and just do a horizontal back direction. If they wear a bang from the apex, you could go horizontal forward and the rest back. So up in here, there might there's different things techniques you can use for every client who sits in your chair depending upon their hair. But the important thing is this is uh, this particular video is about the spiral perm. So as long as you know how to section and subsection. So remember use your rod, make a square according to the diameter of the rod you're using, make sure it fits. Start your wrapping near the end and put a vertical end paper on there. So we have a vertical end paper. Go right to the ends. And when you get to the ends, Keep the elastic in your hand, just reviewing right now what we already did. Get that spiraled around a couple of times around the bottom of the rod and then begin to spiral your way up and secure and fasten the rod at the top. Remember if you need, use a single flat wrap as you're going and to make sure this perm rod is not above its section. Let it hang in its section and same thing, keep your elastic straight and it will just hang there. And we just keep wrapping. I'm gonna keep going and give the um, spiral wrap a try. Usually we use larger rods it's for longer hair. It doesn't have to be hair this long. This is quite long, but larger rods, longer hair, and we can um, perform our spiral wrap and practice and be ready for clients who want bouncy, springy curls.